Alright guys, welcome to episode 3 of Mastering Fundamentals and today we're going to be covering switch stashing. So how you initiate a switch stash is by flicking your right analog stick then pressing triangle on X. You will send your character forward and you'll also save chakra as it won't cost any chakra. So next up is level 2 of switch stashing which is called turbo switch stashing or spark switch stashing and it's performed by pressing circle, flicking the stick and pressing triangle on X pretty quickly. Now I'm going to go over the different ways you can use it aggressively and defensively. So first off it's great for opening up a blocking opponent if you pair the switch dash with a kunai. If you do this correctly the guard will go from blue to red and you can get a combo on your opponent quickly. Alright quick online example so I'm going to layer my approach with a switch dash to keep Django pinned then quickly do my Fune Shutsu and as you can see his guard goes from blue to red. Then I continue to layer my aggression because I know his guard is weak. Another aggressive application of switch dashing is winning dash crashes so you can send out your switch dash it will clash with your opponent and then you can mash to win the engagement. So in this situation I'm using switch dashing to force close range combat and using it to win dash crashes where I'm converting it to damage or guard pressure and by the end of the engagement I have the sub advantage my opponent has 2 while I have 4. Another aggressive application of switch dashing is using it to catch your opponent, especially if they're ninja moving and this technique covers you even if your opponent counters after they ninja move so it's a great way to get in safely and it's especially useful for catching people that kunai ninja move in the air, as you can see. So here my opponent is on no subs, I want to catch him quickly, he does a kunai ninja move, I know how to punish that by doing a double dash using switch dashing and that allows me to get max damage as you can see. Another example is after I sub I want to do a switch dash, Django counters, I don't get punished because I did a switch dash and it allows me to win that round. You can also use switch dashing to go into guard pressure and set up for your character's optimal guard pressure string but keep in mind you can only use this technique if you've mastered chakra dash kind of thing and if you want to learn how to master it check out Mastering Fundamentals episode 1. Keeping that in mind you can also use switch dashing combined with chakra dash kind of thing to go into your character's grab quickly and depending on the grab you can set up for wake up pressure and then using that wake up pressure you can go into guard pressure or cancel into another grab. Up to you. The utility of spark switch dashing is that it can force guard manipulation if your opponent is double dropping in a close range so this allows you to get combo conversions quickly. It's also a safe way to apply pressure as it can't be countered and it keeps your chakra up as well. So you can also use switch dashing to tank jutsus and clear it off the field for you as a defensive application which gives you a moment to get in on your opponent but this doesn't work against all jutsus for example danzo's as it hits both characters so you have to dodge danzo's jutsu whilst you're getting in to go for the conversion. So you can also use switch dashing to keep your opponent away from you as another defensive application if they're trying to get in which can give you time to get your awakening or for your subs to recharge. Keep in mind the bigger your character the more effective switch dashing is as an option to block jutsus which can make getting in a lot easier. Here's an online example so my opponent awakens first thing he does is a jutsu use the switch dash to avoid the jutsu then punish him after then use directional subbing to keep up the pressure. Congratulations you've completed your course on mastering switch dashing man like we love to see it. If you want to learn more about using switch dashing to break guards check out my hard to break guards quickly tutorial and if you want to learn your character's optimal guard string check out my character guides playlist but yeah that's it for the guide hope you enjoyed it peace out and i'll see you on the next one make sure you watch the other episodes if you haven't already peace out